This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to have a sculpting brush follow a curve? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a sphere here loaded in, and I've just divided this up to around 2 million polys. So the question is asking about, say, taking a standard brush, and instead of clicking and dragging to get a sculptural effect like this, using a curve. So you draw the curve out, and then have the sculpting brush follow that curve. So is there a way to do that inside a ZBrush? So if you navigate over here to your brush palette and open this up, you'll see at the top here there are a few brushes that have a name of a brush and then curve before them. So we have this curve pinch, and then we have a curve standard. So I'm going to select this curve standard brush. Now with this brush, if I come across a model and click and drag, you'll see instead of sculpting, I'm getting a curve drawn out on my model. So it's just applying this curve to the surface. Now after you have this curve drawn out, if you come across and simply click, it's now going to apply that standard brush effect across that curve. So if I come over and click and drag to establish another curve area, and now simply click on the curve, I'm now going to get that sculptural result. Now you can also do a carve in with this. So if I drag this out over here and now hold Alt and then click on the curve, it's now going to do the inverse effect. So this will allow you to come through and use curves to draw out strokes. And then when you click on the curve, it'll apply that sculptural effect. Now that was the curve standard brush. So if we go to the curve pinch brush, this is now going to use that curve functionality to apply a pinch. So I can click and drag across my surface. And when I then click on the curve again, it's now going to apply a pinch effect where that curve was. Now, in addition to just those two curve brushes that are in the palette here loaded by default, if we go to Lightbox or press comma on my keyboard and open this up, and then we navigate to the brush area up the top here, in here you'll have a whole bunch of folders that contain all sorts of various brushes. So these are brushes that ship with ZBrush but aren't installed in the brush palette by default. So I'm going to locate this Curves folder here and open this up. And in here we have a bunch of Curve example brushes. So I can say select this damn standard Curve brush here and then just double click to load that in. And I can just undo some of these curves on my mesh here. And now I can take this damn standard brush. You'll see it has a alpha associated with it. I can drag this out on my model. And now if I click the curve and drag, it's now going to perform that damn standard stroke along that curve. So I can now start getting effects like this on my mesh. Now there's a few more in Lightbox as well. So let's say I select this snake curve brush here and just double click to load that. You can see this one has a more complex alpha associated with it. So I can drag out a curve on my mesh here and do that same process of clicking on the curve and dragging. And now it's going to apply that snake scale effect across that area with the curve. So using any of these brushes that have that curve feature appended to them, is going to allow you to use alphas and other various sculpting brushes with curves to create details on your models. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!